This is a new Echo, and obviously, it's got a screen. And you may be wondering, why do I need a screen in my Echo? Well, this is Amazon's Echo Show. It's available this week for about 230 bucks, and it comes in black and white. It's basically a square, blocky Echo with a 7-inch touchscreen. It's also got two 2-inch two speakers and eight microphones, so it can hear you from across the room. Now, even though it has a screen, it's definitely not a tablet. It's big, it's chunky, it's kind of heavy, and it always has to be plugged into the wall anyways. But though it's not a tablet, and even though it's an Echo with a screen, it turns out there's a lot of things you can do with this screen. The home screen can show you the time and weather and can cycle through upcoming calendar appointments or trending news stories. And you can ask it for more information on any of these things, and the show gives you helpful guides, which makes it a little easier to use. You can use it to watch video, but just from Amazon's own Prime Video or YouTube right now, you can use it to manage your shopping or to-do list. You can even pull up recipes when you're in the kitchen, or you can set multiple timers, which seems kind of obvious, but it's actually pretty useful because you can then view them on the screen, like, Alexa, show me my timers. Here are your timers. Now, instead of having to ask for the timers all the time, I can just get a visual view of them. And then there's all the things that you can do with Amazon's Alexa Assistant on other Echo devices, which the show can do all of them as well. You can ask it facts, you can set timers, you can turn lights on and off in your house, you can get weather, all this other kind of information that we're used to asking the Echo for. The Echo Show sounds really good for music. In fact, it's better than any other Echo device before it. It's not gonna give a Sonos system a run for its money, but it's so easy to use to just ask the Echo Show to listen to anything you want that I find myself listening to music here more than I use my Sonos system. And then the other big feature that Amazon is using this for is a video calling device. You can make video calls from one Echo Show to another, or to a mobile device, or from a mobile device to an Echo Show. It's basically a super simple FaceTime device that just sits in your house and anyone in your home can use. And then there's this weird feature about it. Amazon's calling this drop-in, where it allows anybody to connect to your Echo Show without having you answer the call. It's kind of weird and kind of creepy, and fortunately it's disabled by default, but it does make it very easy for children to use the device. Hi, Dieter. Hi, Dan. How How's you doing? It going? Good. How's Very it in San Francisco? Like a foggy white expanse, and then it slowly fades into the actual video. You sound pretty great, though. Crazy. I gotta say, this works really well. Um, it is creepy that I could just like jump into your house whenever I feel like it, but obviously you wouldn't normally give me that access. <laughs> Although as your boss, I think I might demand it. You know, it's a good thing that like I'm sitting right next to this and I heard you ding and come in because if I was like a room over, I probably wouldn't have heard it and you'd just be kind of chilling in my kitchen to terrify me when I come in to get some Oreos. That is my life's goal. As you can see, video quality is actually pretty good. The image was sharp and we didn't have any dropouts during our test. But because this is at a fixed angle, if you've got it set up and there's a light in the background or a window, the camera can't really manage the backlight all that well. Also, if you've got it on a high counter, because it's tilted up, it may be difficult for kids to use it. Hey, Dieter. <laughs> so this is cool if we both have Echo Shows, but if you don't have an Echo Show, you're supposed to use the Alexa app. And I just don't believe that people want to use the Alexa app for video conferencing. Like, it works for Alexa and Echoes, but I don't think it works for, it's something that people are really gonna to wanna to use otherwise. Yeah, I kind of agree. I think that like, you know, if you wanna use it as a video calling device for your kids to their grandparents or something, you can convince, you know, grandparents to install the Alexa app, but you're not gonna get all your friends on board, that's for sure, which is probably a good thing. Well, Dan, goodbye, make your video. Thanks, Dieter. Alexa, hang up. I'm actually a little disappointed that the show can't do more. I'd really love to be able to watch Netflix, Hulu, Sling, or another video service on it, but I can't do that yet. It also doesn't always use the fact that it has a touchscreen. Sometimes I can't touch to select things when I want to. I can ask for a local pizza place and it will give me a list of places, but then it won't give me a map or how far away or how to get there. Despite those shortcomings, the Echo Show is still the first device with a screen that I've used that I don't ever have to use my hands. It doesn't matter if my hands are full or dirty or wet, I can just ask the Echo Show to do things. And there's very little setup or learning curve. I just turn it on, connect it to my Wi-Fi network, and log into my Amazon account, and away I go. The show doesn't have a grid of app icons or an app store to manage like you might find on an iPad, but it does have integrations with third-party things that it calls skills. You can ask it to install these skills without ever having to use your phone, or if you ask it to do something that it can't do out of the box, it will actually suggest a skill, like, Alexa, 
Show me recipes for chocolate chip cookies. The skill. All recipes beta can help you with that. Did you want to enable it? Yes. Searching for chocolate chip cookies. Basically, you're supposed to put this in one place in your house and just leave it there so it's ready for a video call or for you to ask it something. You could probably put it in your bedroom on your nightstand and use it as a super fancy alarm clock, but I think most people will find the most use out of this in their kitchen where they can ask it for recipes or set timers. It kind of reminds me of those old kitchen TVs people used to have where you might have a TV show or sports game in the background while you were preparing a meal or washing dishes. Except now you can have Spotify or Prime Video in the background. At 230 bucks, the Echo Show is kind of expensive, especially if you already have an iPad or other tablet in your kitchen, or if you own another Echo device. But it's better suited to be a home computer for everyone to share than an iPad in many different ways. It's a lot simpler to use, and it's a lot easier for groups of people to use it, as opposed to just one person. And I think people will really like it for what it is, even if it is a little simple. But if I was, say, a room over, you could be checking out my... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, what do you think, Dex? That was a good take too. Like I feel like we were we were on a good no. roll.